Hello guys, this is N.P. Chen. Welcome to my mathematics class. Uh, let's see the today's topic. Today's topic is real number system. In real number system, I've taken very important properties of absolute values. All properties I have not taken. I have chosen only the very important properties. Okay, these are the very important properties from the examination point of view. Let's see uh, the statement of the properties. If x belongs to R, R means a set of real numbers. Okay, let me tell you, x is any number. All right, R is your uh, yes, set of real numbers. R means set of real numbers. Okay, uh, x belongs to R, x is any real number. So, what is your x? x is any uh, real number. Any real number. If you have a problem, if x belongs to R means x is any real number. Okay, R means set of real numbers. And A, B, any uh, positive real number. Okay, A, B, any positive real number. Then mod of x, absolute value of x less than A implies minus a less than x less than a and conversely uh, that is okay uh, we have to show if this thing is given then we can write down this one if conversely means if this thing we have then we can say this one all right conversely that is okay if minus a less than x less than a then we can write down the absolute value of x or a modulus value of x or numerical value of x less than a a is a positive real number okay so here absolute value of x right so let me define firstly absolute value what is the absolute value here i have written okay absolute value of a real number right so i have taken okay x x is any real number x is any real number then absolute value of x okay this total okay absolute value of x is a non-negative real number Absolute value of x is a non-negative real number defined as mod of x. We read okay like this way mod of x or you can read absolute value of x or you can say numerical value of x. No problem. Mod of x is equal to in general we read mod of x. Mod of x is equal to so here don't think okay we have used here okay we are going to use the quality back just we have included these two so this type of back means okay I have included okay both answers right so uh, or in another sense you can say mod of x is equal to this or is equal to this right with two conditions mod of x is equal to x if x is greater than or equal to zero because x is any real number x may be positive zero or negative real numbers according to that we have written mod of x is equal to x right like this way okay according to this symbolical form we have defined this defines absolute value of a real number right x if x is greater than or equal to zero and uh, minus x negative x if x is less than zero here here okay let me explain okay this x is your positive number less than or equal to this is your this may be your non negative real number listen to me let me clear this why non negative real number mod of x is greater than or equal to zero x is greater than or equal to zero means x belongs to zero to infinity here okay you can say here is okay your zero and uh, okay and uh, zero and so I'm going to use, okay, from here to this side, all real numbers, right? So x is here, 1 less, here minus 1, x is greater than or equal to 0. So x is, okay, if x is greater than or equal to 0, then mod of x is x. Means according to this, any, okay, x, x is greater than or equal to this, 0, that is, okay, you may see x belongs to 0 to infinity. This is the, okay, left closed interval I have used, okay. And or in number line, you may see this way, right? So x may be your from 0 onwards to infinity, any real number. If okay, mod of 0, so same, okay, 0 will write. And 1.5 and simply 1.5 we will write down. And uh, mod of 1 is equal to 1. Mod of 10, okay, is equal to 10. Because, okay, 0 minus 1.0 is greater than, 0 is equal to 0. 
right? And 1.5 is greater than 0, 1 is greater than 0, 10 is greater than 0. All are here, okay? 0 is your 0, 0 is neither positive nor negative. These all are your positive real numbers, right? That's why, okay, see, I have written x is a non-negative real number. The non-negative real number means x is negative because we have, okay, 0. We may get, okay, 0 according to this condition. That's why I used, okay, a non-negative real number, okay? So, okay, and 0 and then remaining positive real numbers, right? So, mod of x is equal to minus x if x is less than 0. So, so most of the students think this is a negative number. No. So this let me clear your doubt. My negative x is a positive, positive real number. So your this one is positive real number. If you have any doubt, see okay, positive real number. How it becomes okay positive because x is already negative. Okay, right? Condition you have to focus here. Okay, before uh, watching this one, before okay, looking this one, you have to see mod of x is negative x if x less than zero. X is your negative real number. If we use okay negative sign to negative real number, it becomes positive real number, right? For example, here let me if we have a so how to find out the mod of negative number. So mod of negative number means okay according to this definition negative then x. So this time okay x is equal to minus 1. So I, negative 1 also equal negative 1. It becomes your positive 1. So 1 is okay positive real number. You can't say negative x is your okay negative no real number right. So positive real number because x is your negative. Negative of negative real number is positive real number right ultimately our goal is to make mod of x non-negative real number right so using this definition we make mod of x non-negative real numbers okay everybody so i don't you think you have a problem about the definitions of absolute value of a real number okay uh, so now let's move into the uh, this property now i'm going to prove this property in today's video Firstly, I explained okay this definition. Now I think you are clear. According to this definition, we will do the proof of this uh, property. All right. So which one is a very important property? If I do this one, okay, I'll leave for you for practice. You can do very easily. You will not have any problem here, right? In this case, if I prove first one, okay. So you can't ignore okay at any cost if you are studying. 11 class mathematics and uh, you are anyway the student of mathematics then definitely is the very important one okay so let's move into the theorem here we go hmm. oh first of all okay here yeah. conversely we have to uh, do you know both ways Firstly, okay, uh, this part we take as a given part and then we prove this part. And conversely means, okay, this one we'll take as a given portion and then we need to prove this one, okay? So question is clear. Let's see the proof here. Here we go. Mm, we know, uh, we know x is less than or equal to for any. Okay, let me write down, okay? Of oh, for any x belongs to real number. This is also a property, one property I'm using. Uh, for any x belongs to our x is less than or equal to mod of x. This is the property you okay, get, right? So this is the property also of a real number. For any real number, this uh, this statement is true. X is less than or equal to mod of x. And uh, given so write down okay you have to memorize this theorem property now given what's the given okay mod of x mod of x is less than a so therefore i'm using these two statements one is this and this if we combine these two you're gonna get here or uh, x less than equal to mod of x mod of x is less than a and implies from this line we can write down x less than a is um, so obvious x less than x is less than or equal to mod of x mod of x is less than a then it's obvious x is less than a okay so no problem let's say this one one okay uh then again again i'm using with this property for any x belongs to our 
negative x or less than or equal to mod of x. Negative x is less than or equal to mod of x. This is also property, right? x less than or equal to mod of x and minus x is less than or equal to mod of x. Now, I am using the second pro property of the here, real numbers. And the given here, so what's the given? Given is same thing, mod of x less than x. Less than a. Now using these two statements again, you can write on okay. Or uh, minus x less than or equal to mod of x less than a implies minus x less than a. This is a second. So from one and two, what you can say? So anybody can say right. Uh, oh, so I hear negative sign. Okay. We are from one and two. From 1 and 2, we can say minus negative x is less than a and a is less than, okay, uh, sorry, let me write on one more thing here. Actually, we want to prove, okay, we want to write on exit between my negative a and a and uh, here, I'm going to write on, okay, a negative a less than x, okay. Just to be transmitted away. Or uh, okay, a here and x this side I have transmitted. Or uh, or you can say you can just multiply by negative sign on both sides. If you multiply by negative side, sign of inequality will be reversed. Okay. Uh, negative a less than equal to firstly a a okay firstly uh, in this statement is greater if you multiply by a negative number on both sides, you will get okay negative less than okay negative x, right? So this will be your two. And from one and two, so I'm writing you uh, from one and two. From one and two, you can write down negative a less than x less than a. Combining these two, you will get this result, okay, right? So if this is given, then we can write down this one. All right, so first part clear. Now we are going to prove conversely. Conversely also is not so difficult. Conversely. Conversely that is okay. So first we'll try to understand. Okay, conversely mean that is uh, if negative a less than x less than a and then you can write down mod of x less than a. If this one then we can write down this one. All right, so let's prove okay. Uh, we have okay we have here uh, was, uh, let me remove this one okay write down okay if x is greater than or equal to zero I'm using okay condition if x is greater than or equal to zero if x is your non-negative uh, real numbers then x is greater than or equal to zero being non-negative real number well, then you can write down, okay, then what we can write down according to the definition of mod of x, mod of x is equal to x, we can write down, right, mod of x is equal to x, okay, and uh, given, so here, okay, two parts we have, okay, this time, okay, this one is a given, here, given, okay, now let me write down here, negative a less than x, less than a means, okay, negative a less than x, one part is this one and the x less than a second part okay this one right so we have a two parts so i am using okay here right part okay here x less than a all right okay now from these two statements one is this statement one is this statement another one is okay this given so what you can write down okay therefore mod of x is equal to x x is less than a i'll combine these two statements and uh, i got this one okay so implies from this line you can write down mod of x less than a because these two are equal uh, without any confusion we are safe to write down mod of x less than a okay uh, then again okay because we have proved here we have done only for non-negative real numbers now we have to check with uh, negative numbers also now again okay uh, if x is less than 0 means okay if x is a negative real number then mod of x is equal to negative x all right this is okay definition of absolute value right so what is the definition of absolute value let me write down again x if is x greater than or equal to 0 negative x if x is less than 0 ultimately this one is a positive and this one is a non-negative all right so this is the definition of symbolical definition of absolute value in symbolical form right 
Uh, so, so don't think this is a negative, okay? Ultimately, this one is your positive real number, right? Because x is a negative, negative or negative means, okay, your positive real number, right? Uh, okay, uh, given, so firstly, uh, I took your la right part, x less than a, now I'm going to take the left part, right? So what is the left part here? Negative a less than x, okay? That is, because the negative x, we need to compare with negative a. So negative x is less than a, okay, so no problem. So now I'm going to combine these two results and one statement is here, another statement is here. So from here, therefore we can write mod of x is equal to minus x, I'm going to combine less than a, okay. So no problem, so I'm sure you have a problem up to here and imply mod of x less than a all right so for all real numbers we have taken for all real numbers we can say if this one mod of x is less than a all right so i think okay you are clear about this theorem now you can do yourself this also right if you have any problem if in any step if you have any problem please don't do hesitation to ask the questions i, I just took a bit of your questions and I'm very eager uh, a lot to reply your comments okay well, so thank you very much for watching this video bye bye